Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you let's get started shopping cart project in ASP.NET Core in uh, Visual Studio 2000, uh, 2022 and uh, create a new project actually that project is working and uh, we are creating a new project in uh, .NET Core 6.0 okay so uh, here we select first of all uh, solution explorer so empty solution you can select it here from the library that is the ASP.NET Core empty empty project empty this 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 and uh, you can say that and okay and uh, just you got uh, select uh, ASP.NET Core okay so here we have ASP.NET Core web apps and the web apps uh, with the model view controller there is the ASP.NET Core web apps okay so it's just select it and here you can type shopping cart dot web okay so uh, that is the project is related to uh, shopping cart dot web and the framework is .NET 6.0 long term supports and the authentication type is none so you can select uh, an any so just create it dotnet core uh, 610 long time long term supports okay so that is the thing you can do so just add uh, one more projects in the solution like uh, add a new project class library project And here you can select the class library that target .NET standard or .NET core and the C sharp and just select it shopping cart oops shopping cart dot models okay so here you can see shopping cart dot models okay shopping cart auto models and the next one is add a new project and here we can select class library project dotnet standards and dotnet core also and here you can select shopping cart dot data access so here we have a uh, three projects in the solution and the last one is utility project so new project and the class library dotnet standard and dotnet core and shopping cart dot utility utility project okay just create it so here we have a four project in the solution that is shopping cart dot web dot utility dot models dot data access layer so the first thing is to use that is the shopping cart dot models box and here you can design that class first of all delete uh, existing class and in the shopping cart just add a new category so just add a new class and the class name is category class and here we have just make it public or you can add it that at this models and here we have a category class just use it and that is save Okay, so here we have you can see that public class category and uh, the name ID and the name display order and date cre uh, created date time that is date time dot now and that is the data notations so just key control dot and using system dot component model dot data notations and display name is also used another namespace that is system dot component model. So that is the category model and the next one is the product model so just remove all these classes in the existing projects 
so there is the shopping cart models category and the next one is product the class name is product and just copy that these parameters of the product So public class product okay so here we have a public class product public integer ID string name description price image URL and category ID and the category the old navigation properties like category uh, a product have a single category uh, I just use it here uh, one to many mapping so image a product have image and the price description name and the id that is a simple data right here and you know that that is the navigation property so just you can use the validate never property and also the image url is also validate never there is an there is a no um, use it here so use control dot to remove system dot component model dot data annotations and also use validate never install package microsoft.asp.net.core.mvc.core validate package validate never package is actually existing in nuget package find and install latest version okay so that is problem is resolved so here we have a two models in that is the category model and the product model so in the data access layer we can use uh, another class for the application db context class so you can use uh, a data folder inside it here the name is data and uh, in which you can add a new item that is the class application db context class and that class is make it first of all public and in this video just go to the data section and that there is the class and here we can use identity db context uh, package mm, in this uh, in the latter video I will use identity DB context class so here we have a data context so just control dot and install package Microsoft ASP net core dot identity dot entity framework core so here is the find and latest version okay and uh, just wait for some times and uh, also you can use ES Microsoft Entity Framework Core and uh, in the categories folder you can just select it add reference to shopping cart dot models so both are resolved so there is data is added the next task is to add that is the connection string in your uh, web folder so just open app settings digestion file and add a connection string and here you have a connection string just copy and paste the top level that is the connection string here we have a connection string that is the database ESP net core DB connection that is okay now after that in the program.cs file you have to add that connection string at here so uh, just open it and startup.cs file just copy that and paste it here builder.app.builder that is the uh, services configuration and here we have a uh, service folder so builder dot uh, you can use builder 
dot service dot at db context and here we have also builder builder dot uh, configuration okay you can use it here you can use control dot application db add reference to shopping cart dot data access layer okay so uh, there is uh, you SQL server so you can use control dot just install Microsoft dot entity framework core package so just add a new get package browse and uh, SQL server Microsoft entity framework core dot SQL server accept it and there is so the problem will be resolved after that you can use entity framework for so the problem is resolved okay so after that you can use uh, tools package in the data access layer so you can use it here that is the tools package minus new get package in the data access layer that is the tools package Microsoft dot entity framework core dot tools package just install it for the migration just accept it okay so now after that you have to uh, add migration in the folder that is we have to add two classes in the folder so you can just tools and uh, nuget package manager console just add add migration pro and cat to db product and category to db just you can use it the namespace actually i use uh, the uh, and the caps the startup project shopping cart web does not reference okay so here you can use the data access layer so add migration pro cat to db oops your startup project shopping cart dot does not reference microsoft entity framework core dot design package this is required for entity framework core to tools to work ensure the startup project is correct Okay, so there is the startup project. Okay, so just you can use is the startup project actually manage new get package and the package manager control Microsoft dot entity framework code dot design. entity framework core dot relational also you can use the relational package and also we can use the design package also so just you can add the relational okay so then now just to add design package Okay, now just after that you can again you can fire pro cat to db just wait for some times for the okay that migration is applied and after that you can use update database oops build failed so just you can use the shopping cart to build oops the name sql server model builder extension does not exist okay okay okay, okay. what's that going on if your potential install package microsoft dot entity framework core use find and install latest version 
okay that's problem is resolved error list okay the new uh, is the sql server model builder extension is the finding new package okay so again you have to add that is package manager console and update database command and the latest okay that is done so the first database is created in the folders so just you can close all tabs okay so after that you can do uh, there is the next task uh, in the shopping cart dot web that is the area you have to select it here so add a new scaffold items and here you can select mvc area and that that is area is the admin area you have to select it okay so uh, that is the admin area and the next one is the customer area so here we have to two fields uh, in the shopping cart the first one is admin and the second one is the uh, uh, customer okay okay there is the customer area and the fields so here you can use map controller routes that is the area exist so in the program.cs file you have to uh, add these fields also area equals to on default area is the admin so you can use customer okay so just save this and add uh, the new area in the areas folder we have you can select the admin controller and the views so model and the views a uh, model and the data is not needed so just remove that okay and uh, in the area section we have to add a new area that is mvc area and the area name is what that is the customer Okay, so the next thing uh, to uh, you can add uh, in the project that is the boots uh, boots watch theme into your project. So just save this and cancel it. And the next thing you can do add that is that is the boots watch theme into your project. So type bootswatch.com. Oops, there is the boots watch theme and here you have to add uh, what theme okay that is the strategy boots theme.css so after that you have to select areas and uh, uh, that is the folder and the ww root folder that is there is your css file and you have to add your bootstrap theme css file where you can see that uh, there's lib directory and the bootstrap is also there that is that in the under the dist css and there is a bootstrap css files so in the css file you have to add a new file uh, add a new item and that is the style sheet okay and the name is what the name is selected that is the strategy okay dot css and just download this file just control v control c and it removes and you can add it here just save this and there is a file where you can locate it here so just you can use views folder 
home it is not shared and layout.cshtml file and where you can see there is the style sheet that is there is a default bootstrap is there lib.css uh, okay so just i want to edit that file uh, href so equals to href equals to css and the site and the stretchy.css file oops there is not here okay so just save this and run your default project first of all shopping card dot web and uh, just first of all you can just uh, change your navigation bar also oops the view index was not found the action located in home index areas customer and there is so just resolve this okay and here you can see that uh, controller is also there so home controller is just plus under the areas where is this and the customer area admin and the customer and here you can see the home controller is the part of the customer controller okay and the home controller home views is actually related to your uh, views part of your this okay and the next thing is to use layout validate uh, impo view imports is also there view imports is under the section of views so just views view start just equals to the view start okay so just you can use that just copy and paste view start and view imports file so just select it and control c that is not included in the home that is included in the okay so just drag views folder okay so select both folders control c and uh, here you can see the shared folders so just paste it again there is the main file okay so uh, the problem is resolved and uh, the home uh, controller in the first of all close all tabs in the customer area you can see the controller model and data is also there so just delete it and also close the old apps and here you can see that uh, views is also there and controller is also there under the views we have the home section and here you can see that uh, home controller as the name of area area equals to customer okay so now just you can use and uh, display your outputs get for some times is there any error no uh, there is no error web.exe that automatically flows the console when debugging steps okay just gain it I can call it oops the local host space can cannot be found that's resolved easily uh, because the home controller and the view start and view imports is there in the under the view section you can see that layout section error.cshtml view start and view import is there
not is the under the view section we imports and views csstml file is there under the shared folders you have to start views start file and uh, we imports is also mentioned in the under the view section so there is the file the home and index page 404 there is a local was not found program.cs file okay customer area is not customer area that is the customer area spelling mistakes okay so there is the stretchy themes shopping cart dot web home privacy that is looking good and uh, just after that you have to select stretchy theme and you can select preview and just select that navigation bar so just copy your navigation items oops just copy that and under the layout dot csstml file just select navigation bar and just make it comment it and paste it here just select it saved it and and refresh it you will see that outputs shopping cart dot app home and privacy there is the two item actually is there there is lots of item is there so just save this and refresh it and you will see that as the output drop down layer okay and the stretch home features so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos with us later to ESP.NET Core Shopping Carts.